What is the most important thing that we need to know about the man, Vladimir Putin? Well, I think the most important thing that we need to know is that he came to power through an act of terror against his own people. That this is somebody who was an active participant in the in the operation that included in 1999 the blowing up of apartment buildings, the murder of hundreds of people in order to gain power. That's why we have a Vladimir Putin. No one would have ever heard of him. And he would certainly have never become president without those explosions. My understanding was his approval rating at the time was like 2% or unknown. And then after that, he was up in like it the was 40. 2%. It was 2%. There was one, there was one uh, opinion poll that, uh, that was taken before the bombings. And uh, Putin had 2%. Yeah. Is, so, so, this, so this tells us that he's willing to do what well he's doing we we see what he's willing to do he's willing to 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 throw thousands of young russian boys unprepared in into a into an inferno in in ukraine and see them sacrificed basically for nothing i mean but there were there are incidents like this throughout his career the only thing is that we in the united states didn't react to them. We had we had many opportunities to stop Putin, and we had many opportunities to prevent what is happening now. But we didn't react when we needed to react. That's the problem. I mean, Putin is also responsible for uh, giving the order to open up on a, a gymnasium in 2004 in a school uh, that was filled the, the gymnasium was filled with parents and t- and children, and uh, it was attacked by Russian forces with flamethrowers, flamethrowers and grenade launchers. I mean, the, ch- the children and parents were burned alive. No civilized country would give such an order, e- even even in, in a hostage situation, which was yeah. w- what existed at that time. Is he evil? Is he narcissistic? Is he crazy? Uh, I, I think those are the ones that people in the West kind of jump back to, maybe because they don't know what to make of it. Uh, you as the expert, how, how do you interpret his personality? Well, the, this is the kind of a personality that was mass produced in the Soviet Union. Mm. Uh, the, 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 this is what happens to people when they are a processed psychologically by a totalitarian ideology and turned into automatons. And they, as a result, begin to worship power and they completely disregard the value of the individual. It's not true that Putin is in some way unique. It's just, of course, he's he's in the, in, in the position of head of state and the peculiar circumstances of how he came to power may make him even more uh, vicious and mm. more uh, disdainful of the fates of other people than 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 would be the case even for the average person with a Soviet mentality. But he's not that much different. That's the tragedy. Uh, this One thing is I'm very curious about. To people. One thing I'm curious about because we talked a little bit about Stalin earlier, right? And, and we we alluded to what Stalin did in Ukraine with uh, you mm-hmm. know man-made st- famine, right? So the word legacy has come well, up a do lot. We see the, I think we need to see the, see the connection here. Uh, St- you know, for, for, for Stalin, there was no problem starving millions of people to death to achieve political goals. And this is, this is the mentality of the KGB. And the mentality of the KGB is a special variant of the Soviet mentality. The idea that that the only thing that matters is power, and the only thing that matters are the political are the political objectives of the rulers, and whatever has to be done. This is why this situation that we're now in is extremely dangerous, because uh, Putin is you know if his survival is at stake, as I'm sure it is, uh, he's not likely to respect any limits at all. I mean, at the time of the apartment bombings, I was told regarding Yeltsin. Who's, who was worried about his survival, that he was ready to blow up half of Moscow uh, if it was necessary to guarantee his security and that of his corrupt family.
Hey, Slater Crusaders, there's so much going on with Russia and Ukraine. How do you make sense of it? To make sense of it, you got to go back a thousand years to at least the year 988. That's one of the things we do on our special. But the most important thing we do is we analyze Vladimir Putin, the man. Why is he doing this? What is motivating him? Once you understand these things, then things begin to make at least a little sense. And that's what we do with our latest special, the real Vladimir Putin. To watch it, download the first TV app and become a supporter.